battle between lap dancing teachers, naked people in church, and the cast of the Jersey Shore. It was like the good, the bad, and the ugly this week in the news. The only thing missing, the good. Joining me now are Ramona Singer, star of Bravo's The Real Housewives of New York City. Her new jewelry line, oh yeah, de debuts on HSN March 2nd. Also with us is E! Network's Bet Ben Lyons, who I love, and I love this other one too, comedian Maureen Langan, who often works with me on the road. Uh, let's start with these two Canadian teachers who have been suspended after performing a lap dance during a school event. Take a look at their dirty dance. <laughs> You know, and I always hated Jim. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to get out of it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Bring I those mean, sick notes. What was that? Was that inappropriate, mildly disturbing, or really bad and what? Surprising. Sexy? What? It was surprising because when I think of a female gym teacher, I think yeah. of another female gym teacher. <laughs> I didn't think of that dichotomy. That's a good point. <laughs> So that uh, was shocking what do you me. think, Ben? <laughs> I, I'm all for teachers relating to their students and sort of hu humanizing themselves in a way, but this was really crossing the line. And you got to remember that whether it's in Canada or here in the States or around the world, really, teen pregnancy, a big issue. Uh, under, you know, kids having sex unprotected in high school is a big issue. And I think that kind of condones that and encourages yeah. that. And it's just really Ramona, not how about, how about a reality show? So you think you can stop. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was totally inappropriate. It oh, was. I mean, who's rally. monitoring the teachers? We usually we send the children to school. Thank you. They're supposed to be monitoring. Now do we need adults to monitor the teachers? Yeah, exactly. Go ahead, Mom. Well, no, I said it's a pep rally. But the thing is that's interesting is they get suspended. Well, you know what they're going to be doing during their suspension. You're suspending these two so they can have more time? I know, but they're not, they, they can't teach anymore. Uh, yeah, exactly. Sex ed, they can. If if they can teach sex, sex ed. Right. Sure. If you're a student in one of their classes, how are you going to take a teacher seriously when they tell you to turn your homework in on time or to do a certain reading or assignment when you've seen them do a really awkward lap dance, by it's the way. As far as lap dances go, it wasn't even really a It wasn't good that one. good. But no. wasn't it fascinating <laughs> that it's Canada? I mean, you always think of the Canadians, you know, as so straight-laced, A, eh? you know, all that stuff. I see, I don't. I've performed in Canada, and you watch the television there. They seem more open than, than we do. So Maybe that's a part me. of, you know, the French you area. So? French Canadians. Talk about right. Mounties. I'm sorry. That's all right. terrible. Oh, that was that's good. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to do it. I'm sorry. All right, he went there. That's all right. A church in Virginia, let's do another story, oh, yeah. is bringing a new twist to the old-time religion. Everyone at this church is nude, including the pastor. Take a look at this. <laughs> Let us hear exactly what you've got planned for us, Father. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Some of the biggest moments in Jesus' life, he was naked. Uh, when he was born, he was naked. When he was crucified, he was naked. And when he arose, he left his clothes in the tomb, and he was naked. If God made us that way, how can that be wrong? You know, it's a nice idea, but where do they hang the rosary beads? <laughs> um, <laughs> do you think, what do you think? you think this is going to catch on around the world? You know, nude uh, church ceremonies? Oh. Not in my Irish Catholic family. <laughs> yeah, really? Are you kidding me? We grew up, our God didn't like nudity. He oh. likes self-loathing, shame, and guilt. That's the kind of God that we had. Oh, and we had the same God. God. Yeah. Talk about, you know, meeting a nice church girl. I don't know. This takes it to a whole new level. The body is a temple, I suppose. Yeah. But well, I don't know. Well, they can really do it in a temple on. also. But I can't imagine that you're in church, and I can't imagine seeing all these naked people. I mean, I, I don't yeah. think I could concentrate No beauties on either, I'd like to point out. Well, it would make you scary <laughs> to give the sign of peace. You don't know where those hands have been, right? You don't want to do that. <laughs> Come on. Being, I just think being in church and seeing a lot of people clothed or unclothed is kind of a rare thing these yeah. days. People aren't practicing the way they did years ago, and so if it gets people into church... And well, let me read this. The church is part faith. of a year-round nudist oh. resort, and they say business is up. 20%, <laughs> even in this economy. So I guess naked is good for business, right? Well, you Obviously. know what? I, read, I was reading the article, and they had said that um, the parishioners don't know who's wealthy, who's poor, who the plumbers are. And I'm thinking, of course you know who the plumbers are. You're seeing everybody's crack. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm back with my panel of pop, pop culture pundits. <laughs> this week, the cast of Jersey Shore came to The View, my other show. And I was crowned with my very own Guido nickname. Take a look. I was sitting backstage. I did hear uh, some of Joy's opinions, so I'm going to go with the assumption. The assumption. <laughs> okay, like that. It's like the, uh, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the assumption, remember? <laughs> 
Isn't that what that means? The Assumption when the Virgin Mary rose into mm -hmm. heaven, right? That's right. So I, I, don't, I don't mind that name. I right. was a very nerdy kid, say, when I, was a, when I was young. I used to wear Bermuda shorts and, you know, I used to go to the theater. And I was surrounded by kids like this who wanted to beat the living crap out of me. And that's why I don't like them. But they can't move their arms with all those steroids. They weren't going to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> Good point, uh, Maureen. I think you got to look at the show and the, and the franchise in, in two different ways. Well, I, you know, I kind of equate watching the actual episodes of the Jersey Shore to kind of looking at something like on the Animal Planet <laughs> of how people are peacocking and it's, uh, it's mating rituals. Why is the situation calling you, Ben? Oh, you heard about that? Yeah, he, I heard about it. He's he, calling He's you. trying to be out in Hollywood, so he called the kid from the E Network. I don't know how it happened. Maybe but he's coming on I've to you. I've never met him before. I to each their own, but Maybe I've, I've never met him before <laughs> and I wish them all the best but I think people have a problem myself included with them continuing this level of fame that they've achieved. But I think they're very lowbrow and my husband is Italian and I just think it just gives a bad connotation to Italian Americans. No kidding. And I don't like it. But you know I grew up in New Jersey <laughs> and people think all of New Jersey's yeah. like that and I went to the Jersey Shore growing up and you would bypass Belmar or certain areas where all the Guidos were in their baby pools with their neon and you're like and they made me feel better about myself frankly Joy seeing oh, those you people. Oh you feel yeah. superior? Uh, yeah the daughter of the garbage men felt superior seeing those <laughs> <The> people. <show> <laughs> The show itself is, is is an interesting look at a subculture of, of, of youth culture in a way, and it's sort of uh, documenting this ridiculous mm. lifestyle. I think they call it youth cu culture. <laughs> youth. But youth. I don't get it. Right. I, I turned it on and I turned it right off. I, I just is there a life? Like You're on a reality show. Is there any kind of life after a reality show? Because where are they going after this? Come on. Jewelry. The reason they're calling you Ben is because they want to. Because they're going nowhere. Right. They're calling well, me. Well, they want, yeah. <laughs> thanks. They thanks want a lot. More, 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 more. You know. Well, you know the thing is yeah. that you can use a reality show as a platform for your business and it helps you create new businesses, which is what I did and some of my other castmates. But I think they're just doing it for no reason, and I think it's silly. Oh, get ready. We're going to see Snooking for Love. We're going to see Ronnie's workout video. We're going to see every desperate spinoff that you could All imagine. All right. Well, good kids. luck to them. What's your advice to them, Maureen? Do you think you Move have any to advice? another state and stop giving Jersey a bad name. <laughs> Jersey gets a bad rap all around. It really around. does. Yeah. You know, I read books. Where does that get me? These people, Schnooky, what is she doing? She gets loaded and falls she down? She wants to be a veterinarian. <laughs> no, she, oh, please. Stop. Does she even know what that means? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> all right. Let's, in France, let's move to another right. country. In France, new anti-smoking ads aimed at the young are causing a stink because well it's just let's just look at these ads and you can see mm. okay do you see what <laughs> yeah. that is yes yeah. i do and it's why the, there's somebody some it looks like i don't know what it looks like a, some man is holding their head and they have a cigarette that seems to be connected to the man's fly that's all i have to say it, it looks, looks like looks forced like. oral sex and they had the cigarette there but you never know it's about a cigarette you're they're not getting the message across properly and, and i think it's, it's terrible anti-smoking campaigns around the world have always re relied on shock value but i think this misses the point of it because you look at the ads and you can't tell what it's for and exactly and but it's so controversial right now and everybody's talking about it it's in every major newspaper and magazine right now mm -hmm. so they're really getting the, the um the light shone on it that the they message, want they're not getting the message but people across. are talking about it which is very interesting to me you but know? you think it, there's a does it make the connection between smoking and non-smoking or well, does it, it or is it about is it about sex total shock value and you know what's interesting is the tobacco companies are really upset because they don't want to be aligned with pedophilia. They're much more comfortable with being aligned with assisted suicide. Yeah. That's much better for them. <laughs> That's what they'd much rather. But they're trying to ban, ban this. They're yeah, of course they are. Down. But it, 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 it targets teenagers. Mm. So do you think that this will make teenagers stop smoking? I don't no. think that'll make teenagers. They just won't inhale. <laughs> Why don't you show a picture of not swallowed, Why don't you show a picture of Snooky smoking and say you'll look like this if you smoke? So stop. I think that'll be far more effective. You know, no? you know. I just just I like to, you mentioned Snooky. Uh, Vera Wang, the designer, has uh, created a hair a soul style around Snooky's hairdo. She has uh, models going on the runway with the Snooky do. Really? I'm Are you serious? Yeah. I'm serious. <laughs> so it really did. There it is. There it is. There she is. I, uh, the hair. There's the hairdo. Holy. I mean, it is. Yeah, she got the right Look at her. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? I know the proper use of semicolons, and this girl has a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Okay. You know. Come I know. On. I know. Listen, I've been <laughs> on that case all week. Thanks, everyone, very much. Up next, the latest on Charlie Sheen's rehab stints.